Hi there, it's time for my two cents. Today, I'm going to get nostalgic on you. Today is the 65th anniversary of the debut of The Good Morning Show. December 16th, 1957, Lee Kynard brought The Good Morning Show to life. You know, the way he told it to me once, he said, back in those days, TV wasn't king, radio was. And WBIG, the big radio station in Greensboro, was how everybody woke up. They turned those on and listened to their favorite oldies, whether it was big band or switching over at that point to rock and roll, Bill Haley in the comments and that type of thing, singing rock around the clock. So Lee said they incorporated some music into the beginning of the Good Morning Show just to get people to watch. And then he did it all. He did the weather, he did the news, he did the sports, he did local and national headlines, you name it. And he said there wasn't a lot of content because video cameras weren't a thing yet, they were film cameras. They had to go shoot things, develop the film and physically cut it and splice it together to get things on the air. So the Good Morning Show in a lot of cases was just Lee reading everything and being the meteorologist. There weren't really meteorologists working for TV stations in those days, he did it all. And he said when the show was over with at 7.59 a.m. on that day, he thought, we got through it. And he watched the industry change and the technology change over the years until it's evolved into what it has today. It's a completely different world today in local TV, but one thing we can say, the Good Morning Show still connects people in a community to what's happening in their community, whether it's weather or the local clubs and the events they're having or just the straight up news. The Good Morning Show is the longest running local TV show in the United States, continually running under the same name since 1957. So here's to 65 plus more good years on The Good Morning Show. I am proud to be a part of it and all of the shows that I work at here at WFMY News 2. That's just my two cents, and that's your 4 to 5. WFMY News 2 at 5 starts now.